Welcome back to more about decor. I'm your host, LaVon Falbo. Here's kind of a blank slate of a bathroom post construction. And it's kind of a dream to uh, do decor in a blank slate. But this isn't the way that I originally found this bathroom. So I met the homeowners when I came up to do some work for their kitchen. And of course I had to use the bathroom. And again, of course, if you know me, you know, if I have something to say, I say it. So I commented on the functionality of the bathroom. Now keep in mind, this is an 1800s farmhouse and it was inherited. So you know how everything goes over the years, everything gets upgraded and you know, the tub needed replaced and the toilet situation was a little bit different because you kind of had to sit sideways on it. The area that circled here had a rack that had towels hanging from it. But as you'll see, the space in there is so narrow, it really wasn't the best use of the space. So when they were away, the homeowners were away, they had the bathroom remodeled. And the construction folks did a great job. They repositioned the um, vanity and went with a much smaller pedestal style and also just eliminated the tub and put in a brand new shower that's a walk-in shower and this functions so much better for this family and it looks great so it's beautiful right so we have to get some design going something peaceful and tranquil in the bathroom and also with now it's with color and then we also have to add some storage for some function so my homeowners were really great to work with so we went back and forth a lot um, via messenger with pictures and samples so all along I was looking at Dixie Bell's silk colors in sea glass and serenity and we also talked about different shelving options some of them I thought were great ideas until uh, we really <laughs> measured and I realized how tiny this space really is but we are packing some functionality into that space so here's some other ideas came up with a towel rack sort of cubby situation with uh, hooks underneath it and thought that would be a great fit sideways but kind of didn't take into consideration that there was going to be a cabinet over the toilet and that wouldn't open well it also might be something to bang your head on as well <laughs> so we talked about different over the toilet ideas for storage and ended up using something that was a leftover spice rack from the kitchen so keep in mind I do budget decor, so we're not looking to spend a million dollars on a renovation. So, um, again, these homeowners are awesome. So back and forth we went. They measured things for me, and I sent them ideas. And we worked it out that way. So these are some of the amazing notes that they sent me. How detailed, and it's wonderful to work with people that are so invested in it that they care to um, take the time to make detailed notes. But they were very concerned about the functionality of the space. And sometimes the ideas on paper um, are a little bit different until you get to real life. So even after the renovation, you'll find that some of those ideas still needed tweaked a little bit. So sometimes we had to um, make sure that we were talking about the right wall. So I'm positioning a cabinet on that wall and wrote shower on the other wall so they'd know exactly where I meant. And then also um, an idea was to bring in a rolling cart that would fit underneath there and be very versatile. And that was um, kind of a plan that the homeowners liked and also liked the color. And we were kind of working off that color because we liked it. We were trying to match it and then we decided not to. Uh, another idea that came up was using a piece of old barn wood, which the homeowners had, to create kind of a um, towel storage 
and towel hanging place. So that ended up happening, but the idea got modified again. So we ended up buying a stock cabinet from Lowe's. We were looking at one from Ikea, but it was, um, it was on back order all the time and we would have needed two of them. And in this way, we only used one. So are you ready for the big reveal? So here's that cabinet from Lowe's that ended up in between those two walls. Now you see what a tight fit it is because there's a radiator cover too that you have to consider. And then also we have the rolling cart underneath there. It fit in just beautifully. There is the cabinet above the toilet and that's the repurposed spice cabinet. And it was set that way to hit the studs and also to provide a little more room for opening the door. And then there's the um, repositioned, repurposed barnwood towel rack. So this has made some changes since this, but um, first of all, we put it in a vertical position instead of a horizontal because it wouldn't function very well in conjunction with the use of the toilet. So the towels go in the baskets and the hooks are for hanging wet towels. Since then, as I said, the homeowner kind of tweaked it a little bit. We actually purchased four of those baskets in the beginning and they ended up perfectly on top of the cupboard. So that was a good fit. And then the mirror that was gold um, ended up getting painted to match the woodwork. So I did use all Dixie Belle silk, except we matched the sea glass color for the walls in a latex paint. So I will share those in the link below, my affiliate link to purchase the silk paint. So there's a view of the bathroom from the door, and I think it turned out really nice. I think it's a nice calming, peaceful bathroom and it looks really great despite the small size. So I think we really maximized the space as best we could and gave the homeowners a really nice um, spacious looking bathroom. And when you add functionality, you add space. Some updated pictures from the homeowner. The towels are now in the cupboard and the baskets are a little bit smaller with some other toiletry items. And the rolling cart is working great. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram, we're levintagedecor and on Facebook, we're levintagedecoraltuna. Stay well.